Well, I graduated. Guess I made it. But I'm stuck. Like I waited, hesitated. Fuck. I don't want to sound like I'm saying that life snuck up on me, but there must be chloroform in the clouds the way the dark times rain on me, numb me, calm me. I'm burning my phone data like a smoke signal, hoping that this girl will call me, but it's not like she has a reason to. I've been seasoned to believe that she'll leave me too. Every road to my heart is a scenic route, taking you past past heartbreaks and crashing tectonic plates of breakup texts and odd tableaus of makeup sex gone. I'm such a fucking mess. No wonder I believe that if I ever love someone, they'll always love me less. My friends often ask if I'm stressed. I don't know how to communicate cataclysmic self-destructive tendencies, so I just say, yeah. Then I hear people say, oh, all you artists, act like life is the hardest, you martyrs, you targets for public consumption, your self-produced garbage fuels your own self-destruction. If you didn't get shaken by every social transaction and save your tears when hard shit hardship actually happens, you'd be taken more seriously, so we're gonna keep laughing. Love gets so much harder if you let it destroy you. You should only use art as a means to employ you. Liam, what the hell are you doing up in the boys' room? You know, yeah, I'm fine. I was just... You doing drugs? No. Proofreading love letters. I want to send. But first, I need to love someone. It's funny. I can write love poems without loving. Echo chamber of Cupid and his cherubs with empty quivers. I promised her I'd give her some good rhymes, so I have to deliver. She heard I like to write, and I heard she likes poetry. So I'm Googling how to write a poem, hoping she won't see through this illusion. Confusions from a loser who isn't good with excuses. My mind is so scattered, if I don't break it, I'll lose it. And this is how my dumb ass got into poetry. It was a girl who never liked me, and I just wanted to impress her. Now I've got skeletons of iambic pentameter in my dresser. I've got drafts of odes and snippets of sonnets. I've bottled moonlight and clipped the tails off of comets. I promised myself that I'd never lose them with words again. So I memorized as many as I could. Killed pens and pencils, sharpened nubs down to wood, folded my love letters over 13 times to show that I could achieve the impossible. I know that I'm capable of love. I love you so much. I know that I do. Because every time I say love, I think of only you. It is such a curse and a blessing to be in love. It is no coincidence that my heart has the same number of chambers as a clover. I'm so lucky to be alive, and I hope when all this is over, this flight of folded love letters lands in the hands of a lover willing to hold these silly, juvenile poems and know that they were made just for them.